Hello everyone! Welcome to Telegraph Girl More Than The Scores Matching With Friends Game! Now for legal reasons we have to call it Matching With Friends Game, but I think you get the idea. I am your host, Steve Ortman, and earlier this month the Telegraph Herald released its 27th annual Scholar Athlete Team featuring some of the great scholars who happen to be athletes and athletes that happen to be scholars in the tri-state area. And I thought, what a better way to feature some of these great scholar athletes that bring them on the show this week and see if great minds do in fact think alike on matching with friends. So without further ado, let's meet some of our scholar athletes. We're going to head down to the end of the table there. Paige Lampy from Bellevue Marquette. How are you doing, Paige? Good, how are you? Doing swell. Tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, my name is Paige Lampy. Uh, I just graduated from Marquette Catholic recently in Bellevue. And I like my steak cooked medium rare. Mm -hmm. I really love old people. And I got my left canine tooth knocked out about a year ago in a softball game. Pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, what are you going to be doing here now that you've uh, graduated high school? I plan to attend Loris College to pursue an elementary education degree. All right, fantastic. Welcome everyone, Paige Lampy. Now let's head down <laughs> to Cam Ray from Bellevue. How are you doing, Cam? Good, how are you, Steve? I'm doing, uh, well, still swell. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I drink at least a gallon of milk a week. Mm, um, I balls. have a best friend that's a rabbit, and I hate the word lukewarm. Same. Mm, tough <laughs> word. Well, what are you going to be doing now? I'm going to go to Loris and Ooh. run cross country and track. <laughs> Go do Hawks, and yes. I hope to major in kinesiology. Awesome. Tough word to say, by the way. Good job. <laughs> All right, moving right down the line here, another scholar athlete, Luke Hageman, Dyersville Beckman. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Steve. All right, well, go ahead. You know the drill. Tell us a little bit about yourself, young man. Yeah, okay. So um, I like chicken on my burritos at Poncheros, and my mm. greatest fear is sharks. Ooh, oh. sharks. Ooh, good. I got, good, I got a good question here in my pile for you then. Now, uh, you're a uh, wrestler, pretty tough yeah, guy, huh? I suppose. Yeah? Oh, good for you. Anyway, what are you going to be doing now? Uh, next year, I'll be going to the University of Iowa and majoring in computer science and engineering. All right, excellent. Good to have you on, Luke. Now we're going to finish off here. Yeah. Crystal Trannel, Dubuque Waller, you're going to be kind of being the one that's trying to score points here to start us off in the first round. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um... I'm actually from Wisconsin, and I live on a dairy farm, but I've never milked a cow. <laughs> um, I have 51 cousins and six siblings, so oh. big family. Big family, indeed. All right, well, studio audience, go ahead and welcome Crystal Trammell. we got a great lineup of scholar athletes here. Let's get the show started. You've never seen uh, matching with friends game. Basically how it works here every round, we'll have a different scholar athlete in this chair. We're going to ask a question. And she's going to think in her head what she would put as the answer. These three wonderful scholars over here are going to write it down. She's going to try to match it and score points. We'll see who comes out on top in the end in this very scholarly event. So let's get this underway. Are you ready here, folks? Yeah, let's do it. All right. First question is, the Irishman said, I will never eat another mushroom. I just found out that leprechauns blank in the woods. The Irishman said, it's a family show, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the Irishman said, I will never eat another mushroom. I just found out that leprechauns blank in the woods. <laughs> All right, everyone ready? Hide your, hide your answer there. All right, Crystal. The Irishman said, I will never eat another mushroom. I just found out that leprechauns blank in the woods. Sleep in the woods. They sleep in the woods, and that means you never want to eat another mushroom. <laughs> Interesting. Paige, what are you going with? Cry. Cry in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping and crying. Okay, we got some sad answers here. Can we get a match? Cam, what are we going with? They shave in the woods. They shave in the but woods. But they have beards, so they don't even shave. They shave their legs. <laughs> oh, that's even more reason. All right, tough question to start. Luke, you got anything for us? Bathe in the woods. They bathe in the woods. 
Good one. That's a good one. All right. Well, Crystal, tough challenge coming out out of the gates. You got zero points, though. <laughs> Maybe you can match with someone Good coming start. this way. All right. We're now on to round two. Luke's stepping in here to answer the question. See if we can get anybody on the board. Second round question. Here we go. Jaws may be scary, but all he wants to do is start writing greeting cards. His first idea is, my deepest sympathies for the loss of your blank. Jaws may be scary, but all he wants to do is start writing greeting cards. His first idea is, my deepest sympathies for the loss of your blank. I haven't seen Jaws out there, young kiddos. Go check it out, it's a classic. Let's see what we got on tap here. <laughs> but my Jaws yeah. may uh, be yeah. sending sympathies yeah. for the loss yeah. of your what? Got a figure out there? I've got a guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you mean to read the question again? Okay. okay. The loss of your... Head. He's going head. <laughs> Loss of your head. That'd be a tough one to take. Crystal, start I us off. Grandma. Loss of your grandma. <laughs> Deep. <laughs> All right. Paige, what are you doing? Big toe. Big toe. That's a tiny nibble for Jaws. All right. Cam, head? No? Sandwiches. <laughs> Sandwiches. That's a good greeting card. All right. Well, we made it through the second round, folks, and we still have uh, zero points on the board. Let's head on to round three. All right, on to round three. Cam is going to try to get on the board here. Quick scoreboard update. Loop zero, <laughs> crystal zero. All right, let's see what uh, the, the Bellevue folks can do here. Cam, here's your question. Clint Eastwood is starring in a new movie. It's called Dirty Harry Six, Nursing Home Cop. He goes around saying, Go ahead, make my blank. <laughs> what? Clint Eastwood is starring in a new movie. It's called Dirty Harry Six, Nursing Home Cop. He goes around saying, go ahead, make my blank. If you've never seen the original Dirty Harry, he says, go ahead, make my day. But now he's in a nursing home. What's he going to oh. say? Go ahead, make my blank. Age likes old people. This should be a uh, good <laughs> I love her. old people. <laughs> what are you thinking? Is there one in your head or you got locked in? All right. Really putting these scholar athletes to the test here, aren't we? We're about locked in here. Dirty Harry Six, nursing home cop. He goes around saying, Go ahead, make my bed. Make my bed. That's a good answer. Let's see if we can get on the board. Luke? Bed. Make my bed. We are on the board. Crystal. Bed. Bed. Oh, yes. We got two. Paige? Pill schedule. <laughs> that is a great answer. So we got two on bed. So Cam scores two points. We're on the board as we head to round four to see if Paige can uh, get two points and tie this thing up. <laughs> All right, scholar athletes are on the board. Cam, two points. The Bellevue brethren over here. Paige is gonna see if she can get on the board. Here's her question. Batman has decided to retire. He is turning the Bat Cave into a man cave. All he wants to do is relax and clean his blank. Batman has decided to retire. He's turning the Bat Cave into a man cave. All he wants to do is relax and clean his blank. We'll go with so many wonderful toys that Batman has. He might like to clean. Do Did you come up with these questions? Um, due to legal reasons, I can't answer that question. But, <laughs> um, we'll just say maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, please lock it in. I'll read it one more time. Batman's decided to retire. He's turning the bat cave into a man cave. All he wants to do is relax <laughs> and clean his blank. What do we got? Batmobile. The Batmobile. Very smart answer. He's going to clean the Batmobile. Cam? 
What do you got? Nose. Clean his nose. <laughs> Are we going to miss on that one? Luke, what do we Another got? Another point here for Batmobile. Batmobile, yes. there we go. Can we get a tie? Another tie. Batmobile! <laughs> we have a tie. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so we got two points for Cam, two points for Paige. We're going to a very special bonus round where I'm going to be the one doing, trying to do the matchmaking. And you know what? We'll just say it's worth 100 points. So anyone that can match this, we're all winners here. So let's get to this final round. You're all sitting here. That's fine. Here we go. Are you ready? Go ahead and grab it. Thank you. This is the final round. Final question. Since we have two Bellevue folks here, I did write this one. The Bellevue Comets and the Bellevue Marquette Mohawks have decided to merge into one school. Their new mascot will be the Bellevue blank. <laughs> Bellevue Comets and the Bellevue Marquette Mohawks have decided to merge into one school. Their new mascot will be the Bellevue blank. You're trying to match with me. You're a non-scholar athlete in the mix here. Let's see what <laughs> A lot of pressure on the Bellevue kids here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're going to actually consult? take our suggestions. Can we consult? <laughs> no! Hey! The Bellevue Marquette Mohawks. Yeah. 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 What is it? The, the comments and the what? Mohawks. Wait, I'm gonna change my answer. <laughs> okay. Bellevue Comets. Bellevue Marquette Mohawks. Merging into one school. The new mascot will be. I'm gonna go with the Bellevue Cohawks. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Let's start over I here, did Paige. The Bellevue Braves. The Bellevue Braves. Ooh. Playing off uh, semi pro. Baseball team, I believe. Yeah. Not a bad choice. Coax. Coax! Whoa! I'm legitimately surprised that we actually had a match. <laughs> what do we got, Luke? The Bellevue students. <laughs> that's maybe a little too literal, but uh, that's good. All right. <laughs> the Bellevue certainly... guppies. The Bellevue <laughs> guppies. Because um, we live by a river, you know? <laughs> Wait, are guppies in the river? I feel yep. Like... Maybe no, but... <laughs> I watched enough bubble guppies in my day to know that that's, that's true. So, all right, well, uh, Crystal, you get a lot of bonus points in my book. Cohawks. I think it has a nice ring to it. I guess I'm just used to mascots merging like that. But anyways, Crystal, Luke, Cam, Paige, thanks for coming on the show. Telegraph Herald, more in the score. Matching with friends game. We'll see if uh, we're legally able to do this again for a second round next year. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to do it for the show. Just want to say congratulations on great careers, both in the classroom and in sports for you guys at your respective schools, and good luck in the future. That is going to do it for this week's episode of Telegraph Herald. More than the score, I'm your host, Steve Wartman. We'll see you next week.